Welcome back to the city set. As you can see, it's another gorgeous, absolutely beautiful day outside. Look at that. Perfect day for grow growing some vegetables, right? So what we're gonna do later today, we're gonna plant some stuff. But before I can do that, I actually have to do one other thing. And I'm gonna do it inside the greenhouse where it's even extra warm. It's about 90 some odd degrees in here. It's like a tropical rainforest. I have a bunch of these beans from last year. Whoops. And these are the Scarlet Runner bean pods that I grew. So you guys see that beautiful bean in there. It's like a purple black speckled bean. They're really, really nice. I gotta shell all these cause uh, runner beans is gonna be one of the things I plant today. So I gotta get all my seeds out of these shells. I should have done it over the winter, but I was pushing it off and pushing it off. And I'm gonna fill this thing up as full as I can because I got a lot of these pods. I mean, look at that. I've been handing them out in the seed swap to a bunch of people and giving them some friends and stuff and I still have all these left to do. So I'm really excited because they are going to be one of the things we're going to start because they're kind of like a cooler weather bean. So stay tuned for all the other stuff we're going to plant today. I'm going to give you some stuff that I'm planting including these runner beans. All right, I got to get this done so we can get out there and plant. All right. That's what I got this for. Also, I got to find a new way to sit. I'm just bending over all day and I'm handling it okay. I just think over the long term, uh, just bending over, doing all the sifting, handing over dirt and stuff like that, it could be rough on the back. So, I gotta change some things up. First, let's get to building this valve box. Plant some kale. All right, so now that you're all in here, you guys wanna plant some stuff? Uh-huh. What should we plant? Carrots. What would you plant at this time of year? Hey. I don't know. <laughs> How do you expect me to know? I don't know. I thought you would know. Dad, I want to plant carrots. You want to plant carrots? Everyone well, plant we're going to plant carrots tomorrow because we're going to show everybody our little trick for how we got our first ever and awesome harvest of carrots. But today, we're going to do some Wait, greens, Dad. some peas. Dad. What? Yesterday, I ever asked the same question. I know. But and we're gonna put it tomorrow. off. We're putting it off one more day. One more day, we're gonna put it off. Okay, fine. So today we're gonna do greens, peas, and scarlet runner beans. You like those ones, right? The pink beans. Yeah. And we're planting those runner beans because they're like one of the very few beans that actually like cooler temperatures. So they don't like it to be hot like most beans would. They're actually cool weather type beans. So we start them Oscar, early, Oscar and then we try to grow the them chalk late. In the water, That's all right. We'll get it out later. We already did it yesterday. <laughs> Alright, so here's some stuff that we got. Are you going to make tags? Yeah. Alright, tag maker is here. We can finally get stuff going. Can you ready? Right. Alright, so while E is finishing up tags, I have to go prep the bean area for the beans, and then we have peas which are gonna go on this trellis right in front of the uh, greenhouse, you can see right here. So normally what we do is we put cucamelons on here, so we're gonna put the peas for the early spring, and then while we're getting the cucamelons to germinate, uh, these will almost be to the point where they're kinda of dying out a little bit. Tear them out, put the cucamelons here, and this thing will be covered in cucamelons all summer. And then probably in the fall again, we'll plant more peas, but for now, peas, and then we'll wait for the... Uh... I'm getting Why are you getting splash? Oh, Splash Queen. And then we'll, then we'll wait for the fall to do more peas. So we got a few different trellises. We're going to do that over. Probably going to do it on this one here. And then probably one of these other ones we got in the back there. So we'll have a lot of peas going because it's a really good early crop. And the kids actually like snacking on them. I finished. You all set? Mm -hmm. All right, you want to go grab the peas and we'll start putting them in the ground? Okay. All right. Plant, so I'm going to plant the peas and... On this, on this, it has lines, and each line is an inch. And on the back of the package, it says, planting death, three centimeters, or like an inch. So I'm going to put this into about this first line right here. And I'm going to make them like three inches apart, maybe. Just open it. So 
So what you're going to do is you're going to go three inches off of this side for your first one, and you're going to go about an inch in. Wow. You don't have to like measure it, just eyeball it like that. Okay. And you're going to push your dibber there, and you're going to keep going across. Okay. All right. Got it. So I have my pea right here, the really teeny tiny. Got to make sure I don't lose any. And I'm going to go like three inches from this side right here. I'm going to put a hole. And then I'm going to drop it in and cover it up. We're good. Ah, there's perks of being the head gardener at the city stead. <laughs> Don't have to do all the work. So E may be using the dibber. If you have guys haven't seen that video over here, it's all about that tool and how to use it and what it's for. And we got that one from actually Nate at Samson Farms. Uh, Handmade it for us. Awesome guy. He's got a whole bunch of them for sale on his site. Definitely an awesome tool to have if you're going to just punch the little holes. You can do it pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, keep track of a lot of your distances and everything without having to change tools a lot. So it's actually pretty useful and she loves using that thing. I went to do the old school method of just pushing the dang pee in the ground like a, you know, with my finger. <laughs> So E is planting these blue shell and peas that she really liked from last year and you know they're blue so she likes blue. And then I'm putting in some of these gray sugar peas. We actually got these from one of our viewers in the seed swap. I forgot who it was though. I have all the seeds from the seed swap in little packages with their names like on it and somehow this one slipped out of one of those. So I don't know who sent it to us but we appreciate it and we're really, really looking excited excited to have them going in the ground this year. Did you not find the one you're looking for? No, I didn't. Oh no, okay. Open up those boxes again, we'll find it. Yeah, we got some of these seeds that she's planting from Mary's Heirloom Gardens. Awesome seed company. If you guys are looking for seeds, I think she's still shipping as of now. I haven't been able to keep real track of all the companies that are doing it. I'm trying to, but I know a lot of people are getting backed up and everything with all that's going on, right? So, you find it yet? Oh, here it is. Hey, there we go. Back in business. Back in the game. All right, close this one up. Boom. What are you doing? You making a pie? You making some mud pie? And divide this bed in half. Lettuce, fancy kale. What do you want to do? Kale or lettuce? Um, oh. Oh, no. oh no. You okay? Yeah. All right. I want to do kale. Okay, you're gonna do the kale. All right, so let's take a line, dry this right in about half. You do kale on that side, and I will do... You can do the joker, joker lettuce. lettuce. Joker lettuce. How come it's called joker lettuce? I don't know why it's called joker lettuce, because it's cool. It's a cool name. So we're going to plant some greens in this bed that we made yesterday. And this is like the perfect time to do it because the trees are bare, so it's still getting all that sun during the day. And then when the trees actually start filling in, it'll shade this bed out completely uh, so our lettuce won't bolt on us. That's kind of a good idea I always use with my greens. So I try to plant them either under trellises or in shady spots in the yard. Yeah, they will grow. Those are so <laughs> Because when they start, they'll be really good, they'll take off, but then right when it gets too hot outside, they're gonna get a lot of shade. And it'll just help them from bolting as quick so we can harvest them a lot longer. Okay, now those are kind of big seeds, right? What? Are they big seeds? Did you bring your dibber? No. Where's your dibber at? How are you going to put them in? You didn't tell me to bring it. You need your dibber. We actually got this super sweet looking kale. It's probably hard to see. I'll probably post a picture on Instagram or something, but it's uh. We got it from our friends over at the, even the Sparrow Homestead. They sent this to us along with some other cool stuff like Brad's Atomic Grape to, uh, Cherry Tomatoes, which I'm super pumped about, but we're not starting those yet. Okay, 
Now, we're gonna do a little bit different than what they say. So you're not gonna go very deep with the seed and we're gonna go closer than, than uh, eight inches. So you're only gonna punch it in probably like the tip of the dibber. So just like a boop. And then drop a seed in there. And you're gonna go every four inches. Okay. So like right there and then do four and then come over four and do four, four. So four, four, all the way across until you get okay. to the middle. Okay, got it. All right. And I'm doing leaf lettuce come and cut again so I'm gonna go just heavy in the rows that I do because I like to get my lettuce as close together as I can and I like to just kind of overseed it so I can you know spread them out a little bit later I'll thin out whatever I need to thin out but with lettuce I try to go a little bit heavy really high density Oh no, copyright strike. <laughs> People are going to be like, who taught that? Who taught us that? <laughs> Shut up and dance with me. I'm singing Kids Bop Kids for that. Oh, you're singing the Kids Bop Kids version. I gotcha. You know what I just thought about? They probably won't even be able to see us because that sun's right behind us. We're just going to look like oh. little angels. Shut up. And City then Stead Angels. Me, but there's no kid Get out of here, son! But there's no kid pop kids. You're gonna go like this. How many? Two in each yep, hole? Yep, put two in each hole. You're gonna punch a hole. You're gonna go down, punch another. I'm gonna punch another. You're supposed to be measuring so we know how far to go. Uh oh, your little arm can't reach. Okay, I'll come back towards you. Ready? Alright, grab it. Put one here. No, 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 no. Put one here. Yep, push it down. Just a little bit. Perfect. I need over some here. more. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's gonna be Okay, put one over here. Alright, we're gonna do one here. Yeah. And do one here. One here. Yeah. Alright, I gotta do these ones. Yeah. <laughs> so some of that kale is actually from Amber. In Michigan, we did a sweet so seed swap with her, so seed swap really working out. All of your guys' seeds are going to be growing in our garden this year. Well, maybe not all of them, but a lot of them are going to be growing in our garden this year, which I am really excited about growing your guys' garden in my garden. And I don't know if she just knew we love Swiss chard or not, but we love Swiss chard. It's pretty much the only green we really 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 grow to make sure we have so I got to find some more char to take out there for E bye. all right let's see your mud pie bye. oh man that is one muddy looking pie uh -huh. what are you making now mud soup I guess <laughs> mud cake. Oscar made it a, a mud watery. cake bye. Oscar's made bye, it a little bye, too watery <laughs> All right, well, if they're occupied, I'm gonna keep going. I got radishes and beans I wanna get in the ground. I'm doing three different kind of radishes. I'm doing the ever popular watermelon radish. This stuff is like candy, guys. I'm gonna grow some of these green lobo radishes. I haven't done those yet, so I don't know what they are like. And then uh, UT33200 sent us some white icicle radishes. UT is awesome. He's been sending us seeds for a little while now, actually. we got like three different packets that he sent us. So we're going to start a lot of those this year. Uh, and I'm going to plant probably all of these in our, our radish bed that we're going to do. There we go, the runner beans on the bean tent. You guys see that back there? Been growing beans on that thing for five years or so now. It's been a long time. But the runner beans are perfect, the cold weather. They like the cold weather, they'll do all right there. And then uh, I only did one side because on the other side I'm gonna do something like the rattlesnake pole beans. I'm gonna start those inside either the greenhouse or in the, the house when I get my lights set up. And uh, we'll transplant them out. So the runner beans will grow up in the spring kind of stop toward the top and they'll kind of dwindle down during the summer. The rattlesnake beans will grow over the top, you know, all summer long and they'll produce. And then the uh, scarlet runner beans will start taking off again in the fall 
uh, when it gets a little bit cooler again. That's kind of how they worked last couple years. So I'm gonna try to play with that idea a little bit more and actually, you know, save one side for uh, a, a summer type bean and the other side for that spring fall bean. See how it works out. I kind of just mixed them all together last time and it kind of made a mess. So I'm gonna try one on one side, one on the other side. Hopefully that works a little bit better for me. All right, well, there's some ideals for you on things you can plant. Your lettuces, your radishes, they're gonna be done in like a month. So if you get them out in the ground now, they should come up. It might be a little more than a month because we still have a few cool nights, but it's not like freezing, so they should be okay. Uh, you're gonna wanna get them in the ground. Your kales, they will be really sweet when they start coming up because it is a little cool at night. They're gonna be the best tasting now and then again later in the fall into the winter. And of course, the cold hardy crops, we already kind of planted those. I'll link a video for there, some of the stuff we started inside that will be moving out here pretty soon. And the cool thing about like the lettuce and all that, they're gonna be coming up right when we're bringing plants out for uh, Mother's Day time. So that's probably when they're about ready, you know, and we'll be planting everything inside this week. That's gonna be tomatoes, peppers, all the kind of warm weather, melons kind of stuff. Uh, and then they'll be coming out around Mother's Day. Like I said, the lettuces will be done. The radishes will be popping out. So I'm probably gonna plant a few more beds of radish. Right now I just did the one bed, uh, but I might do three or four more of these beds and just radishes, uh, just to kind of use them before we bring the plants out for the summer garden. And yeah, that's about it. That's it for now. For now, guys, that's it, all right? Get your Swiss chart out there also. All your good greens, get them out there and get them going. And we'll see you again with more tips, more things of what we're gonna be planting. I gotta go catch up with the kids now and get some dinner. But remember, be bold and grow bold. And as always, see you in that next video. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry to spoil the surprise, it's just a castle. Well, sand castles are cool. <laughs> All right, what is it? It's just a cup. It's a purple cup. Darn it. I had my hopes up.